Senator Gelba. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Dear colleagues, I would first like to address my condolences to the family of our late colleague, Ian Shugart. I rise today that October 24th was World Polio Day. Polio is a very contagious disease, one that paralyzes, and one that Rotary International, through its program Polio Plus, has been fighting. Yesterday, I had the opportunity to co-sponsor an event organized by the Rotary to fight this disease, and I'd like to thank my colleagues who attended this event. It was an occasion for us to applaud the work that has been done, but also to remind ourselves that the fight against it must go on, and we must eradicate it once and for all. As a former Met Rotary member, I was able to see how the efforts done by the organization have made an impact. Indeed, since 1985, polio eradication has been the Rotary's flagship project to which it has contributed $2.6 billion. What's more, we can be very proud of the role our country has played in this field and of the progress we've made towards a polio-free world. For nearly 40 years, Canada has been a key partner in this fight providing ongoing funding totaling almost a billion dollars. However, while global, global efforts have helped vaccinate 3 billion children and prevent 20 million cases of paralysis, the battle is not over. Several uh, That's why we need to redouble our efforts and continue to take action to put an end to this scourge once and for all. I'd also like to take this opportunity to pay tribute to Mr. Ramesh Ferris, who lives, who is a polio survivor and lives in Whitehorse, Yukon. A past chair of the Rotary Club of Whitehorse Rendezvous, Mr. Ferris rode his adapted bicycle over 7,000 kilometers across Canada from west to west, east in 2008, raising thousands of dollars for polio eradication. Mr. Ferris is a source of inspiration and his example inspires us to mobilize to put an end to this disease, finally. Thank you. <laughs>